sold, Roulette bracelets have sold 1.8 million of these beaded bracelets, um, raising more than 28 million rand. That is absolutely extraordinary. Yeah, who would have thought, eh? A simple bracelet like this could have actually raised so much money. Uh, our short-term goal is, and we, we, we are actually currently meeting that, is to give away a million rand every single month um, through the sale of 60,000 bracelets a month. And our long-term goal, which is my vision, is to get every employed South African just to buy one R bracelet every year. It's 39 rand. It's not a lot of money. Most people who are working can afford that one payment one, once a year. We can raise a quarter of a billion rand. It sounds ridiculous, but it's true. If you just do the numbers. Um, and, you know, it's, it, it is a bracelet, yes. And people say to me all the time, well, how, how long a bracelet's going to last for? Well, for me, it's about c connecting to causes. And the bracelet's just a vehicle. You know, Lance Armstrong with his Livestrong bracelet, I know he's not a very good brand at the moment, but he sold over 70 million globally. You know, we, we, we're a long way off from that. And South Africans are very generous, philanthropic giving people. And for me, you know, if they know what this is about, once we tell the story, you know, we, we very seldom have a person who says, well, you know, I don't particularly like that. So, you know, we've got good retail partners, and I mean, that's what it's about. If we don't get to the end consumer, we, we did. And, you know, the likes of Woolworths, Fashini Group, Clicks, etc., have been really fantastic and great partners to us. And, you know, as I said, this is our latest Pharrell bracelet for Woolies. And, in fact, Spur, we've just done a recent campaign with Spur um, about the Fer Spur Foundation. They bought 67,000 bracelets from us um, for Mandela Day and to celebrate the fact that's, you know, make every day Mandela Day. And, you know, I urge people to go to the Spurs and, and, and Fisher and, and um, Panerotis to go and buy these things. They're still on sale now. And they're going to raise 750,000 Rand just by doing these 67,000 bracelets for early childhood development. So, you know, there's a lot of good organizations like that around South Africa who are really putting their money you know, where their mouths are and measuring what they're doing. Because a lot of the stuff is CSI, CSI, CSI. Where does it go? How do you measure it? Our, our, our business philosophy is metrics, metrics, metrics. Where does it go? How do you measure it? Who's benefiting? What's the long-term and medium-term benefit of what you're doing? And that, for me, is, is absolutely critical. Let's go back and reiterate that goal, that if every working South African yes. buys one bracelet once one a year, bracelet. one R bracelet yeah. once a year, yep. How much money would we... A quarter of a billion rand. It sounds phenomenally it, stupid. It sounds extraordinary. Yeah, so, so how many taxpayers on their country is very debatable. So we've calculated off about 12.5 million taxpayers. You know, there's 6.5 million who pay above threshold and there are 6.5 other working South Africans who are probably below the tax threshold. But if they all just buy one, you know, that, you know, can you imagine what we could do to change some of the challenges we face in this country for those with the numbers? You know, it's, it's, it's absurd, um, but that's our aim. Um, we're also currently looking at growing into other markets. I mean, we're in the UK at the moment. We do a, a great program with Jack Wills, which is a retail program. Um, it's a retail store in, in, in the UK. They're in America and Asia as well, where we do malaria partnership. Um, and we sold quite a, quite a number of bracelets. Their goal is to, s to give away a million pounds to malaria, and we're helping them do that. And then we're in Australia with Nando's as a big partner of ours. I mean, Robbie Brosen from the beginning has been a, a great supporter, and he's, you know, they're very much into their malaria um, support programs in Mozambique and, um, and, uh, and, and in very uh, different parts of Africa. And we're looking to get into the USA as well. Um, so small steps, but, you know, our, our goal is to really think big. You know, there's no reason why we shouldn't be in South Africa only where there will be problems. Obviously, our focus is, is in South Africa, and we want to help as many South Africans as possible. But, but don't forget, if we sell bracelets overseas, the gogos and the skills training and the enterprise development money still comes back here to support our, our local guys. Let's talk then to the viewer who's watching this video and wants to know, where can I get my Relate bracelet? Where sure. do they go? So, as I said, Woolworths is a, is a very big partner. So, Woolworths run a few campaigns a year, and they can go to Woolworths now and buy the Pharrell bracelet. Clicks does their own programs with us. The Fashini Group, in fact, there's a currently there's a women's program on the go at the moment with Fashini. It's about celebrating um, women's empowerment. Protea Hotels is a big supporter. Um, the Tiger's Eye Group, so all those little shops you find at the airport, those African sort of curio shops, um, we're in there as well. Um, Pro, uh, um, I'm sure you know the uh, Sorbet Nail Bars. We're all over the place with them. They do their own, in fact, I'm wearing one. 
this colorful bracelet here, they do their own um, sort of micro-franchising program and they support young up-and-coming nail beauticians through, through that when we fund it. So, um, and then the Cape Union Mart Group, so uh, the likes of poetry, um, old khaki, etc. So we, we're in many places. So I, I really urge South Africans to go out and, 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 and sort of wear the change you want to see in this country because a little, a little, a lot of a little makes a lot of big change. And that's our, that's our belief. How can we interact with you on social media? And if a viewer has a question, where do they go? So very easy. Our website is www.relate.org.za. Um, we're on Twitter. We're on Facebook. Our Facebook, we've got about you know, just close to 3,500 likes. We'd like to get more, obviously. So the more people go on and, and, and engage with us, the better. Um, we've got yeah, about 1,000 Twitter followers, which is not a lot. But again, going to interact with us is lots of um, sort of sticky news stories that we, we put out there. And then we're on we're on LinkedIn and and and, um, and I can't remember the other one of course which always gets me um, Instagram we're on Instagram <laughs> as well so yeah relate bracelet hashtag relate bracelet at relate bracelet South Africa they can look for us there Neil thank you so much for speaking to us pleasure today. thanks for the time.